I don't understand what's taking them so long to get here. It had to be on the day I prepared a surprise, and now nobody shows up. Hmm. They'll be here soon. Talalo! I'm so glad to see you. How you doing? I see. So, is everything fine? It's been a long time since we talked about what good friends we are and all. I think that you are one of my best friends. I'm so glad to see you. By the way, where is everybody else? I've got something to celebrate and want everybody else to be here with me. Hello, Olga. Where are you going in such a rush? Tell everyone to come quick. I've got something important to tell you all. Olga, please don't go. What's up with Olga? She always stops to talk to me, and today it's as if she didn't even see me. Hi, Mumu. I'm so glad to see you. Can you stop for a minute? I've got something really important to tell you. I'm in a big hurry. I can't stop and talk right now. I'm sorry. Goodbye. Mumu, listen to me. I've got something to... I don't know what's going on, but I don't like this one bit. Hey, here comes Alfred. I'll ask him. Hi, Alfred. Alfred? Alfred? Alfred! Don't you run off too? Talalo, today's a very special day for me, and nobody wants to be here with me. I am so tired. Hi, Rita. I'm so glad to see you. How you doing? Didn't you just hear me? I'm very tired. All day running from here to there, without breathing, without stopping. That's great, Rito. I'm so happy that you're here next to me. I've tried talking with everybody, and they're acting crazy going all over the place and ignoring what? me. What? Uh, how? Uh, where? Uh, I forgot something. Uh, where'd everyone go? Well, Mumu over there, Olga over there. I don't know. Everybody went somewhere different. Oh, well, I'm going to go this way. See you. Now I really don't get it. Today is my birthday, and I wanted to celebrate it with all my friends, but they're all too busy doing their own things. Look what I've prepared. A big old snack with all kinds of candies. Now I'll have to eat it all alone. Hi, Talalo. How's Milo? Does he have any idea that we're throwing him a party? Poor Milo. He thinks that we've forgotten about his birthday. But when he sees the cake we made for him and all the nice presents we've made for him, he's going to be speechless. The cake is ready, and it turned out perfect. And I made him a bag where he can keep all his things. I made him a really nice wooden flute, which I've been working on for two months. I know he's really going to like well, it. Well, I... Well, I... Well, I actually forgot about my present. I had so many things in my head that I didn't remember. We can't let that happen. We need to make him something in less than two minutes. Something clever and that he'd like a lot. I feel terrible for not having remembered. What a bad friend I am. Don't you worry, Alfred. You'll see that we'll come up with something quick. I've got it! Why don't we give him a drum? And how do we make a drum in two minutes? Leave it to me. I'll be right back. I just need uh -huh. two wooden sticks, an empty tin, rubber balls, and two balloons. I put the balls on the ends of the uh -huh. sticks like this, and I've got the oh. drum sticks. Uh -huh. ah. Now I stretch a balloon on one end of the tin and the other on the oh. other end. And now it's ready. Oh. I'm so clever. Now I just need to hear how it sounds. The drum is ready. Now we just have to put it in a box and we've got a present. Rita, you're the best. You've saved me from looking like a bad friend. Yay! Well, since nobody's coming, I'll have to eat the snack by myself.
Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Milo. Happy birthday to you. Yay! <laughs> What's all this? <laughs> I thought that you all had forgotten about my birthday. <laughs> I'm so happy that I almost feel like crying. Happy birthday, Milo! Here is my present. And this one is mine, a cake for everybody. And this is my gift. Happy birthday! Happy, happy birthday, Milo! Thank you all for making this the best birthday of my life. Now everyone, time Yay! to celebrate! Yay! 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 Do you have any idea what Mumu's doing? I have no idea, but she looks pretty confident, so she must know what she's doing. I think she wants us to play in the garden today. You know that Mumu always has some very strange ideas. Could be that she's painting the classroom a new color and took out all the chairs so that they wouldn't get stained. I don't think Mumu is planning on painting anything. You know how much she likes to play, <laughs> so I think she wants us to play something. But I don't know of any game that's played with chairs. I know how to play one that's really fun. You put a bunch of chairs in a circle, and everyone keeps going around them while the music plays. The moment the music stops, everyone sits down, and whoever is left without a chair gets eliminated. Then you take away another chair, and you play again until only one chair is left and two players remain. The winner is the one who's able to sit down. Wow, that sounds like fun. We can play the chair game today. Let's go talk to Mumu to see if she lets us play with her. Hi, Mumu. Why have you brought out all these chairs? Mm, I just felt like sitting in the garden. Is that it? You didn't bring them out to play with? Milo, chairs are only used for sitting down. You can't play with them. Unless you imagine that they're a car, or, or a plane, or... Well, we know of a really fun game to play with chairs. That's nice. So why are you telling me? Mumu, you've got five chairs in the garden, and we want to play the chair game with them. But I don't want to play anything. I just want to sit and enjoy the scenery. Whatever you like. You could at least let us sit here with you. All right, then. I wonder what Moo Moo is doing with so many chairs next to each other. I'm sure she wants to play something. Well, I want to play with them, too. We can bring our own chairs to play with. Sounds like a good idea to me. Uh, I don't know where the other chairs are. I think Moo Moo must have taken them all. I saw one just underneath the slide. Well, let's get it and go with them. Hello, friends. What are you playing? We're not playing anything. We're just sitting here catching a bit of sun. Well, how boring. I thought you'd be playing some game with the chairs. Rita! You cannot play with chairs. They're only used for sitting. You can't play with them. That's not exactly true, Moo Moo. I know a very fun game that you can play using chairs. Please teach us how the game is played. There are six of us, right? Well, you put five chairs in a circle and everyone goes around them while the music plays. The moment the music stops, everyone has to sit down and whoever is left without a chair gets eliminated. Then you take away another chair and you play again until only one chair is left and two players remain. The winner is the one who's able to sit down. That sounds like fun! Why don't we play that game? All right then, but it seems like a silly game and very boring. You'll see, Moo Moo. Once you start playing, you'll want to play again. Are we all in position? All right. Now remember, when the music plays, we all go round and round. But when it stops, we all have to sit down. The one who's left out will get eliminated. OK, start the music. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, what bad luck. I was left without a chair. I'm so slow. I kept on dancing with no music. Play it again. <laughs> <laughs> what a beautiful day it is today. Look at this flower. It smells wonderful. Hello, little froggy. How are you? Do you want to play with me? Little froggy, don't run away. I want to play with you. Little froggy. Where are you? Don't be afraid. I just want to play with you. Where could it have gone? Little froggy. Little froggy. Are we playing hide and seek? Olga, Milo, something terrible has happened. What happened? Momo hasn't eaten her afternoon snack. And what's so terrible about that? Mumu never misses eating her afternoon snack. It would be like one morning the sun not coming out. What's more, I've been looking for her for the past three hours and can't find her anywhere. I agree, that is a problem. We need to go and look for her right now. But where will we look for her? We should split up and look in different places. But it would take too long to find her. I think it would be best for all of us to take the train and go look for her all together. What a great idea, Milo. Let's go right now. My friends, today we're taking the train. Everyone ready? Then off we go. <laughs> Little froggy. If you're still playing hide and seek, Forget it, because I'm tired now. Who in the world goes in the forest without knowing where to go? I think I'm lost. Now I'll never see my friends again. Poor little me. Hello, little cow. Why are you so sad? I got lost in the forest. I saw you in the garden and wanted to play with you, but you went so fast and I thought you were playing a game. But following you, I got lost. I see. Well, you do have a problem, and it's a big one. I already know that. Do you want me to help you get out of here? And how are we going to do that? We don't know the way home. I already know that, but we can look for it together. That sounds very good to me. Wonderful, a brilliant idea. Is it a game? So where do we start? Well, we'll start by walking and you'll see everything will turn out fine. I'll follow you. Moo Moo, where are you? Moo Moo! I think I should blow the train whistle so that she knows we're here. 
I don't think she's around here. Maybe we should go and search somewhere else. You're right, Alfred. We're going, friends. Hold on tight. Moo Moo! Moo Moo! Moo Moo! Maybe she went to live with the sheep and we'll never see her again. Don't say that, Alfred. I'm sure we're gonna find Moo. Don't you worry. We've been walking for a long time now and we haven't seen anything. I think we're almost there. Don't you worry. Can I stay here and sleep with you if we don't find my friends soon? Well, of course you can. Yay! But I hope you like sleeping in the water. Huh? Sleep in the water? I'd rather sleep in a nice dry bed. I'm not an aquatic cow. Frogs usually like being in the water and sometimes we sleep in it. But there are times when we sleep on land. We'll find a spot for you. Thank you, little froggy. Hmm, it would be nice to find something for dinner. Milo, blow the whistle again. <coughs> moo, moo. Moo, moo. Are you here? I don't think she's here either. Well, if she's not here, I don't think we'll find her today. We'd have to sleep out in the open. I think it would be better if we went home. What's that noise? <gasps> That must be my friends who are looking for me. The noise Yay! is coming from over there. Let's hurry up before they leave. Moo -moo. It would be faster if instead of running, mm -hmm. you jump the way I do. Okay. <clears throat> run, little froggy. They're leaving. Uh, you go. You run faster alone. Follow the path and you'll be there right away. Goodbye, little froggy. Thank you. Don't leave me here all alone. Poor Moo Moo. She'll be all by herself tonight. Loneliness, hunger, cold. Wait for me, don't go! Rita! Hey, hold on, hold on, I hear something. <sighs> Rita, thank you for coming to rescue oh, me. You really gave us quite a scare, Moo Moo. I'm so sorry, friends. I'll never go alone into the forest, I promise you. I love you all so much. And we love you, Moo Moo.